I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to test your instincts by doing the Charleston for a plan A and a plan B with the same tiles. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We are going to be the dealer for this exercise. Dealer in name only. We're going to get 14 tiles, and then I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers. In the dealt hand, we're going to look for a plan A and a plan B. And we'll do this exercise two times and compare results. Flower, dragons, one of each, three, six, eight in cracks, four, five, six, nine in bams with a pair of sixes, one, four in dots. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? With these tiles, we have plan A, plan B, and plan C. Plan A could be three, four, five, six. With or without dragons. We could also do three, six, nine. We could also do like numbers with sixes. We didn't touch these tiles. So let's do this three times. Why not? So I'm going to take a photo because we need to recreate this. So consecutive run, three, six, nine, like numbers. We're gonna do consecutive run first. So let's pass those three. We'll take a photo each time because we need to recreate these passes. So here's a four. We have two toss pass, four dot. Three, four, five. We have a six here, though. It'd be nice to use the six and the four here. I think what I would do is let a dragon go. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa, look at that. We got a pair of Wes in here. Okay, here's a six. Four, six, four, five, six, three, six, west. We're going to let that go. I think I would let one of the dragons go. Four, six, four, five, six, three, six. This kind of sticks out. Not very useful. I would let that go, I think. I think I would keep the green dragon, though, for a four, five, six dragon. So let's let these three go. Okay, now let's take a photo. Seven, five. That's exciting. Four, five, six, seven, dragon. Okay, let's focus there. Take a photo. 
photo. No keepers. Let's put a six there. We'll take a photo. We got a keeper. I would break these up. Whoa, that's a little bit risky. But look, four, five, six, seven dragon. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, Joker bait. Let's pass one blind. Ooh. Okay, flower. Here's a two, but it doesn't really fit. One discard, two hands, no gaps. Four, five, dot, six, seven, bam, or four, five, six, seven, dragon, or five, six, seven, flowers. Huh. I wonder if that's even better. I think I would give up that dragon. Because this is weak. We could do five, six, seven, or four, five, six, seven, and this will allow us to pass one blind. And before we do that, I just want to take a photo of that because we need to recreate that last pass. And I just want to confirm what tile it was. So we get two. Oh my gosh, we got the eight. Okay, one discard. So one discard, two hands, no gaps. Really, probably two discards. Well, we're kind of in between. We could do four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight. I would keep, I would just discard one. Lots of options. So that was consecutive run. Two hands, no gaps, one discard. Let's reset for three, six, nine. I think it was three, six, nine. See what happens here. Three, six, nine. There are offsuit dragons, so let's pass those three. Well, we can do one of each suit. Okay, no keepers. Here's a pair we don't need, but I would not want to get stuck with a pair. We're focused on 369. I think I would break it up. Whoa. Pair. Break that up. Oh, wait. We have a keeper. Oh, I would not want to pass two wins. That's almost as risky as passing a pair, in my opinion. We have 369. Three, six, nine, dragon, six, nine, three, six, either the red. I, I think we would probably go ahead and let these go. So let's do these three. Nine. We're just going to hoard three, six, nine. So let's do these three. Six tiles to pass. Oops, no keepers. Let's mitigate the risk. Flower tiles to pass. No keepers. So we have four discards. 
but we do have a hand in here, five discards. Here's a hand with no gaps. Second hand down, pair of flowers, three, six, nine, single pair, pung, pung, pung. Five discards. No gaps, but a lot of discards. All right, we're gonna do like numbers with sixes and then compare. All right, let's see what happens with three, or no, sixes. We already did three, six, nine. All right, we're leveraging this multiple. So let's break up the like numbers here. So how about that? Four, nine, one. No keepers. Oh, here's a multiple. We have so many discards. I would I would keep it. There's another multiple with the four eight here. A six. Big surprise. We'll break up the West. Probably should have broken that up. No keeper, so let's see. West can go right across left. We're doing second left. I think I would break that up. Let's see. I try to mitigate the risk in the next pass. If we do seven, eight with a five, eight pair, that has to go. All right, let's start here. Six. All right, now let's do two, nine, north. Wait. We could maybe do news, like numbers with news. No keepers. Four, five. Let's keep it on the edge, one of each suit. Flower. Three tiles to pass. There is some two, four, six, eight in here, but it's not gelling. No keepers. All right, we have three discards. Like numbers, any one of those three hands. We could do sixes with dragons, sixes with flowers, sixes with news. I would say this is pretty weak, but I would still keep it. Between these three, plan A, Consecutive run, plan B, three, six, nine, plan C, like numbers with sixes. Clearly, consecutive run was the best choice, followed by like numbers with sixes, three discards with options, and then finally, three, six, nine, which is a tough, a tough category to play. You got to have really strong representation. But we did have a hand with no gaps. It was just weak. Let me know what you think about this. If you would have done something differently with any of these tiles, let me know in the comment section below. One of the most fun things about American Mahjong is it's very flexible. You can make just about anything work with a dealt hand. One person could go one way and another could go another using the same tiles. That's the purpose of doing this exercise. If you have a set of tiles at home, get your tiles out, deal yourself tiles, and then pick a plan A and a plan B. Do a mock Charleston and repeat it. Compare the results to test your instincts. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.